Hi everyone, it's me, Violet Tchotchke. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today on Digital Drag, I want to do something different. I know I always say that as an intro to this video. Today's no exception. We're stuck in isolation here in Los Angeles, and today I'm going to be shooting an editorial, and I thought I would do some editorial makeup for you guys. So I'm going to go do some skincare, shave, and I'll be right back, and we'll get into it. I've been really trying to take care of my skin and like t let it rest from all the touring and drag. I've been doing laser treatments with Dr. Rosenberg here in LA. I've done the Venus Viva and I love, love, love it. So yeah, I feel like my skin's been looking really good. I'm happy with it. There's still a few spots here and there that need some attention, but other than that, it's really good. Um, so I am gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna block my brows. I've also been like giving myself haircuts in quarantine, which now I have a mullet, which is new, but I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna face tape. I wanna be really snatched, and I want my eyebrows to be really, really expertly blocked and super flat. Okay, so now that that is in place, I'm gonna go in and block my eyebrows down. So I've just been like, I don't, this year has been such a roller coaster, y'all. Like, especially just the past few months. I'm like trying to, I feel like I've gone through the five stages of grief and I'm finally at the acceptance stage. And I'm like, okay, well this is what this year is gonna be. So let's try to figure out like how to keep going. Um, and I've I feel like my at-home studio is like cute now. Like it's definitely way cuter than it was. I've learned so much about content creation and making videos. I mean, today I'm basically, well, right now I'm putting primer on, but I've been cleaning a lot of my drag out and getting rid of old stuff. And I have so much clothing. Like I'm a hoarder when it comes to vintage clothing and like I've had a bunch of custom pieces made that like I may not be able to wear on the road or like wear at shows or whatever. Um, and so I've just been collecting them and have them and I'm just like taking up, they're taking up so much space in my life. So today I just kind of want to shoot an editorial and use all these clothes and these things that I've never really used. Um, I've kind of been inspired lately and yeah, I just have so much shit. So I'm finally shooting some of it today and I want to definitely do this makeup like a bit more editorial, something different, something fresh. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now with some color corrector and just kind of get my beard area, just in case. I always do this. I don't wanna do too much. And then I'm using my MAC Full Coverage Cream Foundation. It's brand new. Ugh, there's nothing like a brand new makeup thingy. Okay. I'm just shellacking it. I also have been like wanting to get tan. Like the only thing that's really open here in LA is the beach. And that's like really all there is to do. Like you can't really do anything else yet. I just, I'm, I'm gagged. We were like, I was like, oh yeah, June. Like by June, everything will be like back to normal. And here it is September, bitch. Oh my God, last September, a year ago, I was in Paris Fashion Week. I was London Fashion Week, Milan Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week. I was touring with my show, A Lot More Me. I just can't believe that was a year ago. Uh, it's just crazy. And I miss my f life. <laughs> I miss my f life. I'm wanting to get tan. That was the moral of the story. Do like a bronze goddess, Raquel Welsh look. Blendy, blendy, blendy. So now I'm just going in with my highlight. I'm trying to not do too much as I, I'm saying that as I fucking like spackle it on. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and contour my face. Okay, so I've done my base, I've highlighted, I've contoured. Now I'm gonna go in and do the brows and I want a really, really light blonde, like wispy brow. Um, I almost wanted to look like I've, I'm not even, I don't even have brows, 
Um, I don't really do this a lot, so this will be interesting. And I don't have like necessarily the perfect brow products, so I'm just sort of making it up. <laughs> I think like the trick with doing a wispy blonde brow is that you have to have lots of dimension. Like usually I just do the black and it's like a solid, thick, sort of n flat black shape. But with this, I want it to be a bit more like real girl. Like I probably should just get lace front eyebrows. I really wanted to do that, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. Girl, drag in the summertime just like isn't it. Like it just is not it. That's why the girls just shave their eyebrows off, huh? So I feel like that is like light, like the tone that we want. Now I wanna like go in and add dimension. Not perfect, but something good enough. I feel like that's like the theme of my drag. Good enough. I've been watching, I like love murder mystery stuff or like true crime. Like I love, um, I love forensic files and I've seen every forensic files there is. Well, there's new ones that have been coming out actually in quarantine. Okay, I feel like I've been in quarantine for so long. There's been like, I've binge watched everything. Um, and I was watching Unsolved Mysteries and I always I like forensic files because they're always solved at the end like they it tells you how they solved it Unsolved Mysteries like is scary because it's like it never well sometimes they do solve it But it never usually gets solved and so I get really really spooked um, But I kind of like it The the Netflix one the French episode is incredible. I love it. What do you guys think happened? Um, I've been watching that. I've been watching Canada's Drag Race. Um, I really love Canada's Drag Race. And I don't know if that's just because I have the time to like really focus on it and watch it. Or like if it's just refreshing because it's like a new batch of girls or if it's a different country or a different way of drag. I mean, the looks on Canada's Drag Race are not it. Like they're not my thing but I understand because it's like difficult when you're not famous so you don't have the budget to like have nice things but also that's not necessarily true it's tricky I'm not I'm not here for the runways of Canada's Drag Race really there's a few good ones um, but like the contestants and the way their stories are told are so just like Good. I don't know. Like the way, like I was genuinely rooting for every single individual queen, because like I felt like I really got to know them and like know their story, and I feel like it was really well produced. Um, and the challenges were just good. Like they were just good and funny, and like, like I don't think there was like one bad challenge. Um, and I know about bad challenges on Drag Race. Trust me. Um, who was I? Who am I rooting for? I was rooting for Lemon for a little bit. I was rooting for Iona for a little bit. I was rooting for Jimbo for a little bit. I was rooting for Priyanka. I love Priyanka, um, especially after going to India and touring India and being, I think I was like the first international drag performer. Um, I just love Indian culture. Like I, something about like getting dressed up in the morning in daytime in like a full sari look, like beads and sequins and it's like bright neon pink or like blue or lime green or like and like gold it's like crazy to me like the looks the street style looks in India to me are like so gorgeous so epic and the idea of just like adornment in Indian culture is like I love it. it's my favorite thing like I love the embellishment and the adornment and like the sim symbolism and like each sari can be wrapped a different way in a different part of the country um, and so to see someone like Priyanka choose the name Priyanka and really embrace her, I guess it's East Indian heritage, um, and then wear saris and wear them in like a really like celebratory way, it was so nice. Okay, I have blended my face, I've done my base, I've got my eyebrows nice and wispy and bushy. So now comes the fun part. I am gonna do something different with my eye. I want to keep it really, really simple, not do too much, no cut crease, and I'm just gonna use my finger. Uh, 
I've, I always love this like shimmery blue shadow from Pat McGrath. I use it all the time. This is a fresh palette. But um, yeah, I just love that it's has that sort of like mermaidy quality and it's like got a blue undertone. I've put some foundation on my eye just as like a primer. And I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring the same like shimmer shadow down on my cheeks and just use it as a highlight. I'm doing like an all blue story. I'm using like all these blue clothes that I've just had. So I love that this has like that blue undertone. I want it like so caked on. <laughs> like is that shiny enough? Making this up as I go. It's weird, I did a makeup test just to like try it out and it looked really good, but it's hard. I did it on my like natural skin, no foundation with my eyebrows not blocked, like just my natural boy, boy brow. And it looks like totally different. And that's what I get for being lazy with my makeup test. So now I'm just, <clears throat> I've kind of done my eyeshadow. Like I said, I'm trying to keep it really simple. It feels super strange for me just to be like done with the eyeshadow at this point, but I am. Um, so I'm gonna do the under eye eyeliner right now, and then I'm gonna move on and put the lashes on, and I think the lashes will really bring it all together. I really hope so, so we'll see. So I'm just gonna go in now and do just the corner of my eyes with some liquid liner. This is a Huda Beauty liner. I want the bottom, I want it a bit raccoony. Just kind of blending out that liner. I'm gonna add some shadow on top, just to sort of do something. So I just went in with some black and I'm gonna go in with this like taupey, again using my favorite Pat McGrath palette. It's like a, I said taupey, but it's more like a gray. It's getting there. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little highlight. In here. That did something for sure. A little, I'm like, no crease, and then I added a crease. I'm just going in with that same shimmery blue right on top of the white that I just did. Okay, it's looking, I'm feeling much better. It's looking much better than what I originally had. Okay, I think it's time for the lashes. Okay, moment of truth. Here's one lash. I'm gonna like fill in my lash line a bit, but you get the idea. Okay, so I am done with my eyes. I've cleaned up my shadows. I've added my giant lashes. I've added a white waterline. I've just kind of cleaned it up a bit. I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. So next, I'm gonna do a big, puffy, pouty nude lip. I don't really do nude lips a lot, but I kind of want the focus to be on these crazy lashes today. So. I'm gonna wing it and figure out what a nude lip for me looks like. That looks like a good liner for a nude lip, so that's what we'll use. I'm just gonna... Blendy, blendy, blend. Using another... Brown pencil. I love these artist color pencils by Makeup Forever. They're just so like easy to work with. You can literally use them 
on your lips, on your eyes, like, I just love it. I love that it's not like a lip pencil or an eye pencil, it's just a pencil. Okay, so that's sort of the outline of the browns. If I wanna lighten it up a bit, this is like, it's pretty pinchy pinky. I feel like it's a mixture of these two. A NYX and a Maybelline, yes God. Okay, so now I'm gonna let my lips kind of dry and mattify. I'm gonna put on some blush. And I'm gonna use just eyeshadow actually from the Huda Beauty Neon Palette. And I like this like really pinky pinky. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's there. And I wanna do a lot of blush. Might even put a little around my head. Mm, I love it. I love like the the blue from the highlighter and the pink create this like purpley almost. Color theory. I failed color theory in college because it was an 8 a.m. class and I just stopped showing up. College. You went to college. Hmm. You chose books. I chose looks. I have a beautiful house, a wonderful husband, and you are teaching snot-nosed brats the ABCs. I'm actually giving very the mom and Matilda with the wig I'm about to put on. It's very mom from Matilda. Mmm. I love it. I'm really feeling it. It's looking good. I'm just gonna like, I think, lighten up my lip a little bit in the center, just a tiny bit more. I'm just gonna use some white. Yeah. The question is, do I do a beauty mark? I've been like doing one over here and I really like it. I'm just gonna do it. It's very drag. All right, I think I'm done with my makeup. I am really happy with how it turned out. I love it, it's fresh, it's new, it's something different. Um, I know I said I wasn't gonna do a crease, I have a little bit of a crease, but who cares? Uh, I love it, I'm gonna go put a wig on and a little look and I will give you guys the full fantasy. And there you have it, my Isolation Blues Digital Drag look. I had so much fun making this video. I love the way it turned out. I'm really feeling this new direction for my drag and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned to everything going on in my world. And I will see you in the magazines. Mwah.